In 2023, it was discovered that prion diseases could be transferred through plants. This came after earlier discoveries where people just believed you had to eat infected brain tissue in order to get it. Turns out it could travel through saliva and blood. And there's also been a question of whether or not Alzheimer's could also be a prion disease. I want to try to dispel some of the myths and talk about what really is a concern. In your body, there are proteins and they all follow kind of the same structure. In the inside, you have a hydrophobic portion. So something that doesn't want to be interacting with water. On the outside, you have this hydrophilic part, and that's how they can interact with the environment. A prion is a misfolded protein, and when they bump into other similar proteins, they essentially turn them inside out and then stick together like taffy. This ends up disrupting structures of the brain and forming plaques, and it ends up damaging the entire structure and causing animals to go crazy. Prions were discovered in populations that primarily practiced a form of cannibalism. That is one way to get it, but there's a reason it popped up at all. You don't have to eat meat in order to get Alzheimer's. It's very likely a plaque disease, and that is still controversial, because plaques form normally. There's mutations, there's by chance that a protein could misfold, and then you end up with something that has become progressive. The discovery that you could take hormones from a person who might have Alzheimer's plaques and then put that in somebody else and then they come down with that disease was groundbreaking. A recent discovery was the specific kind of protein misfolding that we're seeing in deer. It's a protein that's actually twisted and it doesn't interact with our PRP proteins. That doesn't mean that it couldn't eventually develop too. The number one goal of life is to figure out how to replicate and while prions are not technically alive, they are self-replicating molecules. Knowing that if an animal expires by a plant and it can then transfer those proteins through a plant and then be eaten by another organism who can get sick is really scary. Knowing that it can be transferred by saliva is also really scary. And there is an international community working to figure out how to prevent these things from getting bad if they ever were to get bad. So not just trying to take care of a situation after it's become a situation, but having plans in place and researchers working to make sure that that never happens. No one person can control everything. Everyone cannot control everything. So we try to be a force for good. We work to make the world a little bit better. And don't be afraid. Chances are, if you're afraid of something, that doesn't even end up being the thing that is actually worth being afraid of. Live without fear. Do your best.